Hello and welcome to this new playlist, Abacus Tutorial for Absolute Beginners. This playlist is for students and learners to facilitate getting a working knowledge on Abacus modules and practically using Abacus to solve real-life problems. Let's see what we'll learn in this course. First, we'll get an idea about what type of problems we can solve with Abacus. Secondly, by learning Abacus, we mean learning all the components of the modeling scheme. Like other simulation or modeling software, it has a particular set of or portions that you have to complete to successfully model a problem. We'll cover all the modules in this lecture series. Definitely, we'll learn Abacus hands-on and get a practical sense uh, about what kinds of problems Abacus deals with. But for a formal introduction, Abacus is an APA software, meaning it can solve problems that can be solved by finite element analysis principles. Let's say you cannot run an experiment for mechanical deformation on a particular structure, or you want to get uh, a preliminary idea about a particular structure. You can model that problem in Abacus and solve it, extract your required parameters like displacement, stress, strain, etc., and provide insight. We can solve different types of problems like mechanical, thermal, and multidisciplinary so it has application in different fields. Now, as we have mentioned, Abacus has several modules through which we model a problem. Let's describe the modules, which will clarify the modeling scheme. You can consider this as a flowchart of modeling steps, although you do not have to do this in order. Uh, there's a part module in which you create the geometry of your problem along with all the features. So basically you create the part here like you make a geometry in AutoCAD or SOLIDWORKS. Then you provide material properties, properties and assign the properties to sections of the parts. Then you go to assembly module where you create instances of parts. Let's say you have two parts, a nut and a bolt. For example, uh, in this assembly module, you create an instance of the nut and another instance of the bolt and place them as you require. You can create multiple instances of the same part but we'll discuss this in detail in the future lectures where we will show uh, how, how the parts and uh, assemblies are related to each other. In the interaction module, you define interactions between different parts like contacts and constraints as the physics requires. Next, you apply load and boundary conditions at different regions as you require according to the problem statement. Next, you have to create a mesh for your structure so that you can perform FEA. After all these, you have to create a job in which you define how you'd like to analyze the problem, uh, in what manner you want, you want to assign your computational power, etc. After you complete the analysis, you visualize the results and interpret them. Here's one thing to note. There are other FEA software uh, like ANSYS, HyperMesh, Comsol, etc. Each has its own pros and cons. Is Abacus good? Uh, is, is it bad? Is it better than these software? Yes and yes, no and no. Overall, it's a versatile tool with many functionalities and capabilities, and that's why it's so popular. How do you acquire Abacus? The student version is free. You can just make a Google search to find the link. Although it will be limited in terms of nodes, perhaps only 1,000 nodes, for more complex and bigger models, generally you require an institutional or commercial license, which is expensive. Now, let's come to the course contents. We'll start with some Abacus conventions and documentations, which will give us a more organized start. Then we'll learn the modules one by one, part, property, assembly, step, meshing, job, etc. Now, some of the module require uh, some of the modules require some associated and uh, important additional learning. For example, meshing requires some knowledge of element selection criteria. After getting a good idea about the modules, we'll spend some time to learn different types of problem analysis, such as static and, dy dy and dynamic. We'll also discuss some uh, topics separately, such as context and analysis of particular type of problems, such as thermal problems. Uh, like steady state heat transfer and transient heat transfer. We'll conclude the course with required resources, which will be helpful for the learners. I'm really excited. I hope you are too. 
see you in the next lecture where we'll start learning abacus. Thanks.